Welcome back to the Maths Guy, everybody. Today we're looking at a brand new video. We're looking at three by one digit multiplication, which involves regrouping or bridging. Okay, so we're starting with these two questions. We've got a green chili challenge and a red chili challenge, one that's slightly harder. Let's begin. So let's look at our steps of success. First, we're gonna create our place value chart and we're gonna make sure we include our ones, tens, and hundreds so that we don't put a number in the wrong column. Then we're gonna start with our smallest value and multiply it by the smallest value in the other number. And then we're just gonna multiply up the place value. You're gonna see what that means and looks like in a minute. Okay, so starting with our first question, our green chili challenge, we have 254 times five. So the first thing we need to do is create our place value chart, our column chart, and put the numbers in the right place. So let's have our ones, tens and hundreds and that will allow us to put our 254 times 5. Put our equals line and we're ready to begin. Let's just tidy that up. Bing! There we go. So then the next step said we had to multiply our smallest value by our smallest value in the other number. So we can see our smallest value is here in our ones column so we're going to be looking first at this 5. And our first step is we're going to multiply this 5 by the four, because that's the smallest value on the number on the top. Now, five times four is 20. However, when I write 20 into my answer column, I take up two columns and I end up with the two in the tens column. And that's not correct, because we haven't multiplied our tens yet. So we're gonna have to regroup and put the two into the next column, waiting for us to answer the tens. So if we break down our 20, we can see that we have two tens, and zero ones. So now I can put my ones in the correct place. I have zero of them. And instead of putting my two in the tens column, I'm gonna put it here, waiting for us to answer the tens question, which we can do now. And our next question is five times five. And five times five is 25. However, we have this special two that we mustn't forget. So we have 25 plus the two that we brought across from the previous time, we have 20. 7. But again, we've ended up using two columns. So again, using the same logic, I won't put my 2 here. I'm going to put my 2 in my hundreds column, waiting for me to work out the hundreds question, which we can do now. And my hundreds question is 5 times 2. And 5 times 2 is, of course, 10 plus my 2 equals 12. Now, in this case, we've moved into our second column again with 12 but there is nowhere else in my question left to go. So I can leave my 1,000 in the thousands column because we have nothing else to work out in the thousands column. So my answer to 254 times five equals 1,270. Give myself a nice big tick. Okay, let's look at our red chili challenge, our next question, which is 872 times six. Now, why is this harder? Well, I think it's just because we have more difficult multiplications here. So let's set up our place value chart like before, ones, tens, and hundreds, which means I can put my 872 multiplied by six and put my equals line ready to begin. Let's tidy it up, here we go. So as before, I'm gonna start with the smallest value and I'm gonna look at this number on the bottom row, six, and I'm gonna start by multiplying six times two. Six times two is 12, but remember, we don't want to write our 12 into the next column because we haven't worked out our tens column yet, so I cannot put that one there. I'm gonna put it up here, waiting for me to work out the tens. Now I can work out the tens by doing six multiplied by seven, and six times seven is 42. But remember, it's not a 42 because we've got this one extra 10, so we need to put that onto it, so it's 43. 43 tens, and again, I won't write it like this because we haven't filled out our hundreds column yet. So I'm gonna get rid of this four and I'm gonna put it up here on this row, remembering to add that to my next question. Last question, six times eight, and six times eight is 48, plus the four is 52. Now remember, we have nothing to work out in my thousands column, so I can just put my five into the thousand column and my two into the hundreds column. And the answer to 872 times six is 5,232. 
And there we go. It is as simple as that. So let's have a look at the things that we need to remember. We need to remember to always put our ones, tens and hundreds on the top of our column so that we don't put a number in the wrong place. Then we're going to multiply the ones on the bottom row by the ones on the top row and then work our way along the place value chart step by step. If we need to regroup the number because we end up with a two digit number, we're going to put one of those digits above the row in the next column so that we can then add that on later when we get to that column. Okay, here's your time to press pause on this video, try and work out these three questions and put the answers in the comment section so that I can mark every single one. Good luck, press pause now. Awesome, well done. Hopefully you got those questions right. Hopefully you've understood this video. If you have, give us a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel because we're going to be doing daily videos like this to help you with all of your maths needs. But for now, peace out.